Hi, I'm Liz Murphy with Pico, and we are thrilled to be sponsoring Go Forth and Learn. It's part of the Wawa Welcome America Festival. At Pico, we know that learning never stops, so we put our energy into learning and exploring with you all week long in the comfort and safety of your home. Please enjoy and thank you. Welcome, America. I am in need of help. Oh, certainly, look about my shop here. Independence is upon us any day. I hope thou has all brought thy needles and thy thread, and then with many hands, we can get all of this work done. Oh, I apologize. I have been so rude. I have not told thee who I am. My name. My name is Betsy. Oh, certainly, my name is Elizabeth. Betsy is my nickname, and Claypool is the name I bear now. But perhaps thou shalt know me best by the name I used when I was much younger, when I was called the name Betsy Ross. Oh, yes, my name's all together. Elizabeth Griscom Ross Ashburn Claypool. But I was indeed Betsy Ross, my first husband's name, when I made my very first flag here, in this home in Philadelphia, the birthplace of our nation. Uh, but um, the making of flags, um, thou must understand, I only came about making flags because I had done some upholstery work for George Washington. I hope thou hast heard of him. General George Washington um, certainly is how thou shalt know him best. Uh, but when I was a young woman, only 24 years old, and called of that name Betsy Ross, it was at that time that I had made lovely furnishings for George Washington. It was when my first husband, John Ross, was alive, an upholstery work. It is not proper for thee to call me a seamstress. I sew seams in the trade, but by trade I'm not a seamstress. An upholsterer. I shall make the lovely furnishings for the home, cases for the chair, uh, bed hangings, and tis that which I had made for George Washington, lovely bed hangings and beds. It is how he had come to know who Betsy Ross was. But the making of furnishings, um, as I continue to do them, certainly, it also came to add to my trade to become a flag maker. When Washington remembered me, it was at the cusp of independency. We had not yet declared ourselves free, but it was the spring of 17 of 76 that Washington came here to my home in Philadelphia and asked if I would make more than bed hangings for him. He asked if I would sew a flag for our new nation, a flag against the king. As a young widow, I was willing to make that flag for Washington. Oh, understanding. I would not be able to sew it here in my upholstery shop. It's a public space and anyone might come through the doorway. No, that flag for Washington would have to be sewn secretly upstairs in the privacy of my chamber, and no eyes would see. Well, I'm not a foolish woman. I like my head and body together. Did not want to be hung for an act treasonous against the king. But making that flag for Washington, it has set me upon a path of flag making. I shall never lay a claim to having designed the flag. I had not chosen the stars. I had not chosen those 13 stripes of red and white. I had not even chosen the colors. Red, white, and blue, stolen from the flag of our mother country. But when Washington came here to ask me to sew that flag, he brought with him a drawing, and very boldly, I changed the stars. For it is the stars that would become the new element of our flag. 
and Washington had desire for those stars to be in straight rows, and I thought they ought to be gathered, putting them into that circle that is a symbol of unity. And Washington, wishing for stars to appear with six points, like his own standard, I got very bold with him, and I told him, I know how to make a five-pointed star with only a single snip of my scissors. Come, I must show to, to thee how it is done. I certainly shall use a bit of paper. And the cloth for the flags is quite expensive. Tis the good stuff. Wool of a bunting loosely woven and woven only in Britain. What an irony it is. I shall show to thee how my stars are made with a bit of paper, and I will fold the paper in the same manner as I shall be folding my cloth when I shall make my stars. I fold very carefully, knowing that I only need oh, but a square or a rectangle or even a scrap of my cloth. But if I shall fold evenly, I can quickly create a single point. When done, I shall take the scissors to the cloth, just as I am to the paper. I shall snip only once, and once will be all that is needed for a star to be made. It is my small contribution to the flag. May I be bold? Is this not the contribution of a woman? Nothing more than a sewing trick. Learned it when I was a child. I've taught it to my daughters. I teach it to my grandchildren now. I tell them about the flags that I made when I was a young woman and called of that name. Betsy Ross. But independence, independence is to be celebrated every year, certainly here in Philadelphia, tis the best place to celebrate independence. We shall welcome all of America, but they shall expect their flags to be done. And trust me, I shall not get them done if I am chatting all the time. So off, go. Get ready. Our celebration begins soon. Good day.